Okay, guys, Bing here. Um, today, let's model this this uh, structure. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, I'm going to create a project, and uh, let's pretend we already have these uh, the the building um, below. Okay, so I'm going to just draw some wall. W A create uh, some wall. Let's go to 3D view and maybe I'll just uh, drag this up. Maybe edit profile. Okay. And this one as well. Okay, so let's pretend this is our building. Okay, so now we, we're going to model this. So, um, we're going to use a modeling place mass. Okay, so modeling place mass. And uh, I'm going to go to the side plans because uh, in side plan we can see all the wall. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to draw some reference spline through points. And um, I'm going to set to draw on wall plan. And this is not uh, important, just pick a word plan. So for example, a level one, and then I'm going to just draw some reference line. So one, two, three, escape, and another one, and another one here, and another one here. Okay, so now go to 3D view, and you will see these reference lines are sitting on the level one. So you can what you can do is you can go click on this front and you can use your keyboard so uh it's it's quite slow if you just use uh, uh the uh the arrow so you can use a shift arrow okay so it's it'll move faster okay so move these two up and then select or control select so one two three four four reference line and a create form okay so if if this happened, don't don't worry too much. So maybe we can just move these two up roughly here, and then try again. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Doesn't work. That's fine. We just need to um, I need to just uh, make ah oh, maybe let's control Z. Okay, so move them back to level one so i'll just you go back use here so if you click on here so you can go back i think uh, we can just go to here so they they will go back to level one so when they are on the same word plan you shouldn't have any issue so create a form so now you will see this is a a, a, a surface right now we can go back to the front and move these two up and then move these two up so you can just adjust this to to match the side uh, the shape of this and then of course um, we also need to so let's rotate this by 90 degree and let's remove this up so maybe move this down a little bit maybe we'll move this down a little bit more so just adjust left right and then Go to 3D view. I think that's yeah. I think that's that's good. Okay. So once you're happy, and then select this face, divide the surface, and under in this uh, list, so there's one. So this one triangle flat. So this one's very close to this shape, but we just need to adjust the 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 grid. Okay, so for let's try 20. I think this is quite close if you look at the the shape so that's a, a like a square square almost a square almost a square yeah um, I'm going to just use uh, this um, number because I don't want because my computer is quite slow if I use uh, if I double double this double this you know, which means um, it will be four times uh, geometry so it will be quite my computer will be quite slow so I'll just use this um, this number and okay so the next step is 
we need to create a new family. So it will be pattern-based family. Okay, so a new pattern-based family. So select this grid, change this to the same, so triangle flat. Now, so you see these one, two, three reference line. So we can just place a, a point and use draw on face and place it on this reference line and another reference rectangle draw on word plan set word plan pick the word plan of this point and let's just draw a shape so roughly uh, let's have a look so i'll just move this um oh sorry m v move center to this point so now i'll check the size um i'm not quite sure 300 400 Oops, uh, maybe that's just 400 and the width 160, maybe I'll just make it 200. So 180 and then 200. So, okay, so now we can select this profile and then control select path and create form. And this is it. Load this into the project, go to 3D view select this uh, divided surface um, divided surface and go to the list so see this one and change it okay so and then that's 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 it so um, you will see because the the scale of this and rel relative to the size of the um, the profile of that families looks like they are quite thin but once you increase the grid it will look um, okay I think and also um, you will see it's not perfect but for um, concept it should be okay so it's just just yeah uh, zoom away so you won't see those you know detail okay so I think this is okay and then we can add so if you go back here so we need to just see this maybe we can just um, um, just create some swipe I think I think that's the easiest way so let's do it so we already have this pro, uh, reference line here another reference line let me just maybe H H so okay so that's better so see this one reference line the reference line so you can just draw a point draw on face place it on this reference line uh, let me just maybe I'll do it here so reference line okay and then create a reference rectangle draw on word plan second word plan pick this word plan just draw this um, maybe something like this okay and then select the profile and also select this reference line so tab make sure you pick this reference line control select create form and then that's it so that's the uh, form um, yeah you can change the profile if you want and also for this one because we don't have a reference line um, you can try so see if we can place a point uh, use draw on face onto this edge so we can place a point onto this edge but I don't think we can so if you try to tab you won't be able to pick this edge so which means we can't create a sweep along this edge so what um, I think we can do is we can just use the point so this one one two three and four so we have four points and create a spline through points so now we have a reference line here however this reference line is not a not perfect so if you look at here this reference line and this so this form they're not exactly uh, matching so it's we can what we can do is we can adjust it we can place a point draw on face so for example like uh, place it here and then you can select this point make point driving okay and then you can select this point again so you will see this you can move them so for example you can move this up a little bit and then let's have a look again so oh, this edge is here so maybe move a little bit more 
So and until you see it's very close to this uh, this phase this uh, this form. Okay, so once uh, you're happy, we can just um, create a sweep just like this one. So place a point, draw a face, and make sure you place it on the reference line. Okay, so not the edge, not this edge. Place on this one, and then you can create a profile. And so I'll just roughly draw it like this, and then you can select this profile. Control to make sure. So because when you, so if I zoom out, so I try to select this reference line, it will also select this one and this one. See, so you just need to tab and select only. Oh, let's let me do it again. Tab. So only select this one. So then Control click. So now you have this path profile, create form, and that's it. And then. Um, then you can do another one here, another one here. Okay, so let me click HR to show the all this uh, um, pattern-based family. So I think it's all um, it's good. And then we just need to add some. So if you look at here, looks like there are some shade panels. So looks like um, uh, just one sec. Okay, so okay, so um, let's model these. So see, this looks like uh, they are one point, two point, three point, four point. We can create some a uh, four points adaptive family to um, and then place place them on this um, structure. Okay, so let's do it. File new family and go to general model adaptive okay so what we need is four points so one two three four and adapt adaptive um, it will be something like uh, I'll just do a screenshot okay so something like this go up down up down and then connect this one, this one, this one. So what we need is we need some, a reference line here, and then maybe a point here, and then offset up to this point. Okay, so same, a reference line, a point, draw on face, offset to this point, and then connect, and then connect. Uh, um, yeah, once we have this reference line, this reference line, this reference line, and this reference line, we can create a form. Okay, so this one. And this one. So let's go back, connect these two spline through points, and these two spline through points. And place a point, draw on face, place it here, and another one here. So you have the option to see here. So if I type in 0 0.5, it will go to the center. So you can you have the option to create a parameter. So you can control control the location of the power points. Okay, so let's place a point, draw on word plan, set word plan, pick the horizontal tab, this one, and place it on this point. Okay, and then select this point. So, okay, so let's just uh, move it down. So, which means it's a positive. We just need to rotate this by 180 degrees. So once again, another point, draw a plan, set a plan, pick this horizontal word plan and place it on the point and OK. So select this point, move it down. And once again, select this and rotate it by 180 degree. And also uh, here, so if you select these two, so this offset, you have the option to um, create another uh, uh, sorry, a parameter. So you can control the height of this point. Okay, so okay, so now we can connect these two spline, these two spline, select these two uh, a model line, make it reference, make them reference lines. Again, this one, this one, spline and reference line. This one, this one, spline. Oops, what's that? Don't worry about that. And reference line. 
Okay, so that's it. So now we can select these two reference lines, select these two reference lines, create a form, and then that's it. And of course, um, if you want to, you can add a material parameter. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Load this into the project. And we can go to 3D view and start to place it. So before we place this one, we need to do one thing. Okay, so go select this um, divider surface. We can turn off the component, turn on the, um, I'm not sure which one, surface maybe, and go to, go here, display properties, turn, uh, check the nodes. So now you will see all these nodes, then we can place this adaptive family onto these nodes, okay? So for example, we can just place this one, to and it's very important to uh, you follow the um, sequence of the adaptive nodes so because when we create this family we, we use one two three four so when you place them um, you need to do the same one two three four you can't do one two three four okay so again so you can also do one two three four like this or you can do one, two, maybe here, three, four. So, and then that's it. So, um, so basically you can just, um, just place them randomly. And also, uh, if you want to, you can use the repeat, you can use repeat. So it will repeat this pattern. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. Um, and turn, yeah, and turn on the. Uh, you can turn off the surface and turn on the component. So, and let let me try. So if I select this one, edit profile. So I'll just add a add. Let's try add the parameter. So this one will be the height. I'll just try height. Um, maybe I'll use type parameter so the, the height will be the same or maybe we can try different um, different so I'm going to hang sorry um, okay I'm going to change this one from type to instance okay so we can have some random height and also this offset so I'm going to create a new parameter so um, what do we call it? I'll call it X. And it will be instanced as well. And OK. OK. So load this into the project and overwrite. OK, so um, it's OK if you, if it's, it's, it's not gone. Um, it's just um, hidden somewhere. So what we can do is let's try maybe save to bring it back, cancel back so now we can because currently they are still so see these they are repeat re, repeater so which means if you change one it will change all okay so if I type one meter high it will change all of them so what we what you can do is you can remove repeater and then you can change individual height so for example uh, I want uh, these one two three four to be two meter high okay and then I want these uh, to be offset so here 0 0.8 so you can make them look different and that's it um, yeah that's it um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye